What is your reporting on the Tennessee Titans as it currently uh, stands, sits here uh, with week five about to kick off? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, obviously we're well beyond the point of this being a full-blown outbreak. They've had 23 positive tests, and 13 of them are players. And, you know, just to put that in context, right, over the first two weeks of the season, um, there were only – the first three weeks of the season, there were only two player positives. And one of them was the guy who started all of this in Tennessee. And so this is way beyond what we've seen anywhere else. Uh, and the Titans are now under investigation, you know. And um, I can tell you the two real – Flash points when it comes to that are the high school workout, um, which I'm sure you guys have seen the pictures of that. They, the, the players leading a, a workout at a local high school. And then, um, you know, also on a, on a conference call on Monday that the NFL had for all the coaches and GMs, they actually showed pictures uh, from inside the Titans facility of players, staff walking around without masks as a way of showing everybody what mm. not to do. And so, in a way, they just showed some of the evidence that they have against the Titans to everybody. Um, you know, so it's, you know, I, I think there are definitely penalties coming for the Titans. My understanding is those penalties could be pretty heavy. Um, and it's going to be interesting to see where things go from here. So who was there? And, and, and in terms of the investigation, what, what, what can you tell us in, uh, of, of, of who knew sure. about it and, and, how, and how a team is told, okay, you've, there's COVID, um, there is a uh, potential for outbreak. We've got to shut down. You've got to go home. It's a bye week. Take yep. care of yourselves best you can. And then somebody decides to organize a workout. How does that happen? Right. Well, well, let's start with the actual like investigation. So, you know, they, they review all this stuff with all the teams. I, the first sign that the NFL had that there was real trouble here was, um, you know, they, the eight positive tests coming out of the Vikings game. Um, and, my understanding is the contract tra- contact tracing um, with those eight was pretty out of control. Like it was much higher than you would normally see. So now not only do you have the eight guys infected, but you also have all these close contacts to the point where it's like, we have to shut that facility down. Um, and then, you know, that is primarily what led to them mobilizing so quickly um, to start the review. And the NFL and NFLPA, um, you know, traveled to Nashville last Friday. They're still there. So this would be like the seventh day, I think, of the investigation. So that's sort of um, that's sort of where that is. And just you know, as far as the, the work at, at the high school field, I'd actually like heard some rumblings about this last week. Um, and you know, I, I think it's sort of a, a result of players being in a really weird spot where the league took a while to postpone that game. And so you know, I think logistically, the players are sort of thinking to themselves. Like, we're being told we have to be ready to play, um, you know, but then, you know, like, there's a possibility we don't, and we're having these virtual meetings. And so I think for the players, it was, for some of them at least, it was like, all right, well, we have to find a way to stay sharp. So a bunch of them met at a local high school, which obviously wasn't very smart. Um, but I think, like, if you look at what's on the line for these guys, um, you know, monetarily and otherwise, I think you can understand why it happened.